This is Roger with Wheel Connects in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. Um, it is a 2002 Ford F250. It is a extra cab, four-door extra cab long bed, two-wheel drive, 7.3 liter turbo diesel, um, XLT. So it's got the power windows and locks. It's got a really cool fifth wheel setup, uh, louvered tailgate, great tires. It looks good. Um, it was a theft recovery we purchased from Van, in Van Nuys. Um, directly from an insurance company. They sold it on a salvage title. Um, it was a bait car the cops used. And they used it so many times that they bent the steering column every time the thieves would steal it. They even had written on the side of a bait car and they had a bunch of wiring under the dash to probably to track it and to disable it. Um, so we took, we put, had to put a new column in because the, <laughs> every time they put their, their tools in there to break the column to steal the truck, they bent the column a little bit more. So we had to put a brand new uh, steering column in. Oh, actually, a used, I shouldn't say brand new, a used steering column in. Um, and we had to replace that passenger rear door glass, the extra door glass. Uh, and that's it. Uh, beautiful truck. Uh, I imagine they use this as a bay car because it has some eyeball. And uh, they caught people with it. They actually had written uh, on the side of the car, uh, bait car. <laughs> So, and it was pretty obvious that that's what it was. Anyhow, there's a few little cosmetic things like, you know, you could use the right color touch-up paint on this little thing right between my fingers here. Um, other than, gosh darn, it's a really good truck. Um, obviously, whoever owned this truck towed with it. Um, and there's some camper clamps there or whatever you call them. I'm not the big tow expert here, um, but uh, it looks to me like this is the perfect tow vehicle. It has a uh, air ride. It has uh, Rancho shocks. It's got the louver tailgate for the fifth wheel. You've also got the tow package underneath here. Uh, you have a nice brand new spare there, which uh, we don't ever guarantee that they're there because they usually steal them. And then you've got this bad boy right there. It is a Reese Hitch. Uh, maximum gross trailer weight, 20,000 pounds. Maximum pin weight, that would be 5,000 pounds. I'm sure the people who are, know about this stuff and want this know all about this item. So I'll just show you that and talk a little bit, and you're probably laughing. Because <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> but I do know trucks. I do know uh, good running trucks. Uh, and this is one of them. Uh, the tires all the way around it are you know, 80, 90% tread, and it's got a brand new spare. Um, it looks great, runs great. Let me open the hood for you real quick here. Make sure all the correct Ford stamps are where they're supposed to be. All right, let's see. You got a Ford battery, motorcraft battery. There's your Ford stamp on the passenger fender. There's your Ford stamp on the core support on the passenger side core support right there. Here's the stickers that belong there. It's nice to see that stuff. What I don't see are the tools here. Um, so you do have a spare, but you do not have the tools. There's your stickers there. There's another Ford stamp right there. And let's see. La -di -da -di -da -di -da -di -da. It would appear that this fender has been replaced. Hmm. It's beautiful, beautiful work, but yeah, I mean, gosh, the paintwork usually you can tell. But yeah, boy, I don't know. Whoever did this did an unbelievably good job because there's no sanding marks or no floaties in the paint or anything. That's perfect. But uh, I would say that the driver fender has been replaced. Uh, that is what I do know about things. And I do know that there's the hood sticker, so the hood's not replaced. 
So at some point in this car's past, they did replace the driver fender. We did not do that. This is exactly how it came to us. Um, but I would hire this guy to paint cars for me in a millisecond. That's outstanding work. All right, here's uh, your door panel. I see a couple screws in here for some reason. I'm not really sure if that's holding the door panel on or if that's was holding something on there. Um, here's your back seat. Looks fantastic. Carpet looks great. Got a rear slider, headliner. Of course, they stole the bulbs and everything on the overhead light. They don't like to be seen when they steal cars. That's about 99% of cars that are stolen have that. So if you want to pick that stuff up, they're easy to find. Not that expensive. Um, let's see. Oh, let me show you the driver door. So there's your driver door. Gross vehicle weight, blah, blah, blah. This is where your VIN sticker was, or is. It kind of looks like someone tried to scrape it off or something there. They weren't successful. Got the power window switches, door panels look great. The interior of this truck looks fantastic. Very light wear on this bolster, but it's not, it's not going to tear through anytime soon. Seat and fabrics look, looks great. Let's see what else we got here. Wow, this truck is really pretty. This is a nice truck. Let me look under the mat and see if there's anything hidden here. Nothing. There's your uh, air suspension gear. Again, this is not my specialty, but it says airlift on it. And it's got some gauges and whatever, and that's for you guys. <laughs> Definitely not a professional in that area. Let me show you the roof real quick. There's the top. Man, it looks just like a top. Nothing going on there. Get my seatbelt on. All right, let's see. What do we have? 144,431. 144,431 miles. Here's your gauges. We've had this thing running for maybe, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. 10, eh, about 10 minutes. Um, it's kind of a cool day. Uh, it started well. 7.3s are notorious slow cranking, slow starters, but it did good. We've got a factory CD, old school factory cassette. Let's try some air and see what we have. Make sure that we actually have some. And it's already cold, so yeah. This thing is, whoever owned this thing took great care of it. Cup holder. This is a really nice truck. This would be a great truck to bring to the legs. Cruise. Tilt. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Let's see, you got overdrive off and on. Let's go for a ride real quick. Anyway, this is a fantastic truck. Uh, you know, we walked along with it. Uh, we walked along with it, uh, around it with me, and all we could discover was that bad touch up on that spot on the hood, and that somebody replaced the driver fender and did better paint than factory paint on it. Um, I also see a little chip in the windshield right there. It's out of the line of sight, but it's right there. Anyway, we're on the worst roads in the world. Our taxes here are 9.1%, but it's like you're in Bolivia when you're here, which is just, you know, and they want to raise the tax again to fix the roads, which is the last, last time they went from 8.1 to 9.1, it was to fix the roads. See, when they raise the taxes, they never use them for what they say they're going to use it for. Huh. Anyway, um, if you come here and want to drive this thing home, it's got to have a restored salvage title, so we have to inspect it. Um, 
we do that for two hundred dollars. We go down there at six in the morning and sit with it for four or five hours at motor vehicle, and they inspect it. They give it a level three inspection. It's called. Uh, we take the level three inspection and the salvage title of the motor vehicle. Motor vehicle can then give us a restored salvage title. You'll get a copy of the level three inspection along with your restored salvage title, um, and you bring that into your motor vehicle and. Uh, it helps if you need another inspection in your state. Um, it's a very good to have one in our state also. Um, but usually you just go right in there and just take your restored salvage title and they give you their version of that in their state. Uh, rebuilt salvage or uh, rebuildable or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to start from scratch here and start from zero. Beautiful truck. This thing runs like a champion, absolute champion. Um, anyway, so you will, if you're going to drive it away, whether you're an Arizona resident or out of state, you're going to have to get it restored. Uh, if you're an Arizona resident, obviously you can take it there yourself, but you will have to tow it because you can't drive a, a salvage title on the road without a plate. Um, if you're coming from out of state, we highly recommend, uh, uh, well, if you have to do it. Um, if you're going to ship, then all you pay is the price that we agree upon. You pay by wire, um, pay that price, and then you can add $200 if you want us to restore it before it goes on the shipper or not. Um, and that's it. Thanks very much. Uh, please make sure you get your deposit in. And if you don't get your deposit in, we don't have a deal. We've had a lot of people doing that lately where we sell the vehicle. Um, you know, to somebody else who actually comes in with the cash before the deposit is given by the other person. Um, we had that happen on eBay a couple days ago, and a guy, you know, uh, makes an offer of sixteen thousand on a Dodge truck we have, and he waits seven hours to make the uh, deposit. Well, guess what? In that seven hours, someone came in, saw what a smoking deal he was, you know, that that truck was, and gave us sixteen thousand in cash. Well, we're not waiting for him to give us $500 deposit when we have $16,000 in cash sitting in front of us. So, that guy has no reason to be angry at anyone but himself. And the new owner of that truck is very happy. And we don't want anyone mad. So, please be ready to do a deposit. Don't even bother uh, making an offer if you can't make a deposit, you know, quickly. Because I don't, wanna, I don't like that conversation. We sold the truck that you thought you were buying because you didn't put a deposit on it. All right. Um, anyway, that's all. Thank you very much and have a great week.